All right, so we arrived here at Folly Beach. We're just getting ready to go in here, get some breakfast this morning at the Lost Dog. Apparently they have like all day breakfast. Let's go check it out. So we just got setting down and getting ready to get our breakfast. We already ordered, I ordered the breakfast burrito. A little word of advice, if you're coming here to Folly Beach and they have an outdoor setting, it, which is, you, you almost want to sit outside because you're out there, you're out here on the beach in the coastal area and stuff like that. But the biggest problem with that is there are tons of gnats everywhere and they just run up your nose. So. Keep that in mind if you're coming to a restaurant and you're gonna sit outside at Folly Beach. All right, so the food just came. I'm gonna show you this. It looks amazing. Went with the breakfast burrito and the children went with salsa, egg, and cheese croissant, which looks pretty massive. And then the wife went with the French toast. All right, let's dig in and see how good this is. Like I said, the bugs were sitting outside. The bugs are getting me. All right, let's try this. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh my gosh. Oh, big boy bite. Mmm. Amazing. Mmm. Really good. Like I said, the food here has been absolutely amazing. Uh, and the great thing was, it was fresh. Now the biggest, uh, the problem here is probably the parking. That's probably the biggest problem you have. It's because there's not much, many places park. But what we did is we went to the public parking, paid like $10 for all day parking, which isn't bad, especially on the beach. Went there, just walked over here. Probably the easiest approach to get there. But definitely recommend it. All right, so we just got done with breakfast. And, and let me tell you, the Lost Dog was amazing. So if you're ever in the Folly Beach area, but you probably are because you're checking out this video, but if you are, make sure you hit up that place. They got a lot of good breakfast food options and they also sell lunch and dinner. I imagine it's pretty good. But right now we're here early at the beach. So a lot of the places aren't open yet, but we're doing a whole day here. So we're gonna find out what Folly Beach is about. What's up guys? Hey. Don't go away from the video. I got something to say. If you are watching this video, you're probably watching something to do about Charleston. And I decided to partner up with Tour Pass. And what they do is they put a whole bunch of tours together. You pay one set fee and you can go to featured tours and you can also go to uh, exclusive tours, which what it is is you get to pick so many for so many days. However many days you're staying in Charleston, you just go down and click the link down below and you can check out Tour Pass for yourself. Now I do get paid a small commission when you do make a purchase, but I wanted to say, I decided to put the link down here so you guys could check out Tour Pass because I actually used Tour Pass when I went on my trip to Charleston and everything that you're seeing in these videos is from me doing the Tour Pass. So what I want to say is, if you want to have a good time at Charleston, I would recommend getting the Tour Pass. I would have recommended this even without the affiliate link, but since I was going to be recommending it anyway, I decided to do the affiliate program so you could also see the exact same tour that I did. Like I said, Tour Pass is a great product. I used it when I went to Charleston, had a great time, and I recommend you checking out the Tour Pass so you can make everything easier when you're out there visiting Charleston. And it was so much easier with the Tour Pass than without it. So that's all I got to say. Now back to the program that you're watching right now, probably in Charleston. Link is in the bottom. Click on that, check it out. So I actually thought I'd just show you right here where a parking lot is. It's actually right here. But the cool thing is we're right in front of the Folly Beach Pier. So it's right over there. But $10 is not bad to pay for all day parking. So like I said, if, you're stand, if you go into that parking spot that I told you that was like $10, then right across the street right here is Folly Beach Pier that you can check out. Now, underneath it is where you can change your clothes if you want to get out there on the beach. Of course, they do got a restaurant. So let's go check out Folly Beach. <laughs> I 
So we are on the pier getting to our first glimpse of the beach mod. As Bob Marley would say. Let's Looks pretty nice. I've never been to Charleston, so this is my first time, and I've never been to Folly Beach, so we're we're doing this together. I it's a little breezy out here. We're here in March, so it's a little bit it's a little bit chilly, but you know, actually relaxing. We're getting ready to get attacked by some birds. Looks like they. Looks like Folly Beach has those wild, crazy birds too. But it actually feels nice. I assume the water is freezing. I don't know when you're seeing this, but I just recently went to Savannah and checked out the water and it was, and it was rather freezing in March. So it's probably the same here. I think they got a cold front coming in here while we're here. So you can imagine. So I don't know if you've seen it earlier in the video, but earlier there was actually some dolphins out here. Actually, the closest I ever seen dolphins on the beach. So that's, if you're in Charleston and you want to check out dolphins, maybe Folly Beach is the best place, uh, at least that I've been to. They, I mean, literally they was right up there on the wave. So, I mean, wasn't bad at all. So far I'm enjoying Folly Beach. I would recommend Probably if you're somebody who likes to get out there in the ocean and stuff like that and swim and stuff like that, probably March is not the best time. Probably wait until your June, July's and August and stuff like that. But other than that, it's been pretty good. And it looks nice. I don't know if it's during March or what it is, but there is a massive abundance of jellyfish here as you can see a massive abundance of jellyfish i don't know if that's common here like i said I've, I've never really been here but we're here in march and maybe that's just when they school around or whatever but there is quite a bit of jellyfish so be on the lookout for that when you're here we just recently came from savannah over there at tybee island checked out that and now the one thing Tybee Island had on Folly Beach here was, in my personal opinion, if you're an adult and you like adult beverages, having one on the beach is kind of cool. Here, it's just no open containers like that on the beach. So that's a little negative. But if you're just somebody looking for chilling on the beach or going out in the water, so far it looks like a pretty good beach. It's nice, clean. The pier, as you've seen in the video, the pier was amazing. I mean. They had these real high top chairs. Really nice, just sitting along on the pier. And the cool thing is it doesn't even cost money to get on the pier. So it's absolutely free. Like I said, if you're using that parking lot that we did, that I showed in the video, you can actually get, I don't know if the price fluctuates depending on the time of year or what time it is. We got here at about 10 o'clock in the morning and the parking was right across the pier. I mean, so not very far at all, 10 bucks, I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat that price. You just can't. Not when you're right here nestled right in the middle of Folly Beach. Looks amazing. Now, if you're like me, me, I'm personally one of these people that I don't really like to get in that water. But I actually enjoy hanging out at the beach when it's about 70 degrees. So, oh, I'm going to get run over in the middle of my vlog. That would be content, would it? To get run over by a four wheeler while I'm vlogging 
but oh it's it's almost like he's doing it on purpose he's trying to kill me anyway uh yeah so if you're like me march is probably a great time if you're somebody who just likes to chill at the beach because it's like 70 degrees here in charleston of course i think we did come here when it was a cold spur so because i think like in the next like three or four days it's going to be like 80 some degrees so we might have got lucky here not if you're a swimmer though. all right so you've seen folly beach and it's a pretty dang good beach i've enjoyed it we're getting ready to go into charleston and check that out to see what the town's about but you'll have to wait till the next video so if you would do me a solid hit the like and subscribe button boom you'll get what's next on the channel which if you're watching this video right now it could be the charleston and you'll be able to go over there and watch the charleston video so anyway i am going to wrap up this video here in charleston south carolina